Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very warm welcome to you this St. Bridget's Day to the Library and the historic inauguration of the first women into the Long Room. Ada Lovelace is one of the most amazing women of the 1800s. It's quite interesting working on a commission for Ada Lovelace because her history of creating the first computer algorithm feeds nicely into the process of this sculpture. They created the bus in clay and then had it scanned, sent to a robot arm that mills out the marble from a block, finished it by hand using rasps and sandpaper. I feel particularly honoured to be a part of this project to introduce women into the long room of the old library in the Trinity College Dublin. To do Ada Lovelace for this space is quite an incredible honour. The only way you can make a sculpture of anything is to become passionate about it. That there's hardly any of this has been done with a hammer and chisel. It's nearly all done with, with milling, with grinding, with sanding. The whole thing with Mary started to be that I had to read so much to understand where she was coming from. The images, the paintings of her, don't actually fit with how she looked from the descriptions of her. All I could do was really go with the essence of what she was about, the dream of a better, something better in the future. I was going much more for the sensitivity in the woman. I'm very nervous about her going in with all of those amazing carvings of men. These things will survive for a thousand years. That's uh, Rosalind Franklin, or at least my version of her. I came up with my own design, sort of based slightly on the idea of the double helix of DNA. I made the torso in clay and I dressed it up with fabric. So I effectively, I had to make her top out of fabric, uh, which was a bit challenging. I wanted the texture here to be quite real, but also the skin, if you look at it closely, it's not completely smooth. She has loads of pores and um, that was really important for me because if you have a pretty lady, it kind of becomes decorative real quickly. I make portrait sculptures in lime wood. Mostly, as you can see behind me, I paint my work when it's finished, but obviously with Augusta Gregory, I didn't. The most significant thing I found in my research was actually the photographic archives of Augusta Gregory, because they told me, I feel, something about the personality and the person. I felt all the way through that she was present somehow. It was quite a strange experience, never having done a dead person before. I really hoped that in the process of making her, I breathed some life into her. After really six months of work, it's now finished. Very shortly, it'll be on its way to the Long Room in Dublin. We are finally at the install phase of a three-year project. There's a history that starts now um, in the present. If it inspires some kind of connection, emotion, reaction and further investigation, then we've done our job, haven't we? Today we're here on this wonderful occasion to actually disrupt the off-white line of sculptures by inserting four fantastic woman sculptures by four fantastic artists. Visitors to the long room uh, will, we hope, come away with a new appreciation of the scholarship of women. A new generation of women and men will see things differently because things will be different. I think it's really amazing to see it here. The marble loves this low lighting in here. 
great to see the four of them in here. They, they, I, I can't believe how different they are. Um, I don't know, yeah, I thought they'd still be quite similar, four white busts of women, but each one of them is really unique, so I think it's a really nice mixture. But I think the message for me is that we can't still leave anything for granted and we have to keep on intervening and doing things to make things happen. Where can we put them on display to inspire particularly the young women? It's that classic, if you can't see it, you can't be it. That's what this is all about. A big congratulations to all those who have helped to open the floodgates which hopefully will one, one day see the full justice that can be done and should be done to the work of talented women everywhere come into a full, full flood springtide.